You're watching Football Daily and here's this week's biggest transfer news and headlines. We're starting in Spain where Zinedine Zidane is on an ever-deepening quest to improve his undercooked Real Madrid squad before a possible transfer ban kicks in. The first name linked with Los Blancos this summer is Bayern Munich's versatile Austrian David Alaba who has been valued at 60 million euros by Los Blancos, according to Marca. However, Zidane is well aware that the Bavarians will reject this offer as Carlo Ancelotti looks to push on for Champions League glory. German media outlet Kicker also claimed that Alaba has no desire to leave and that it would take a massive wage increase even to turn his head. The next Los Blancos target is a bit of a surprise as it comes in the form of Chelsea midfielder and ex-Barcelona playmaker Cesc Fabregas. Unfortunately though, this rumour is only being reported by the Daily Star so far. However, there have been murmurings that Antonio Conte does not favour the Spaniard in his side. Whether or not Fabregas though would want to join the Madrid-based side remains to be seen, but with a fee of just 35 million euros being demanded, it could be a snip for Zinedine Zidane. The final name being linked with the Bernabeu this week is Arsenal central defender Laurent Koscielny, who is reportedly very highly rated by Florentino Perez. However, with defensive injuries galore at the Emirates, the Telegraph claim that Arsene Wenger will not sell the Frenchman under any circumstances. Despite this, Madrid-based paper AS still believe that Perez wants to push on with the move and make a 45 million euro offer to the Gunners. One man who could be leaving the Bernabeu though this summer is James Rodriguez, who for the 5,000th time this summer has been linked to an English club. But no, it's not Arsenal. This time it's Antonio Conte's Chelsea who have reportedly had an early inquiry into his availability turned down. Perez wants 80 million euros for the Colombian playmaker, however unless the sale of Cesc Fabregas can be used as a makeweight, this deal remains extremely unlikely. Over in Paris and a deal for Julian Draxler looks like it could be forced through before the end of the window according to L'Equipe. Unai Emery is looking to bolster his wide options now that Cavani has moved more centrally and reportedly believes that Draxler could be picked up for around 55 million euros. However, following the sale of Andre Schürrle to Borussia Dortmund, Wolfsburg are against any sale and Bill believe they will force the German to stay if necessary. Over in Italy and the worst rumour of the week award goes to Fichares, who claim that Inter Milan have had a bit of 85 million euros rejected by Arsenal for Alexi Sanchez. The media outlet claims that the South American is angry at Wenger's lack of transfer activity and will not sign a new deal until a major move is announced. However, fear not gooners everywhere, Fichar has print more shite than the Metro, so we're 99% sure there's no truth in it. After dropping Joe Hart to the bench for Manchester City's opening day game against Sunderland, it seems Pep Guardiola is on the verge of signing a replacement goalkeeper. 33-year-old Claudio Bravo is reportedly the number one target, so much so that it seems Barcelona have already accepted a £20 million bid from the citizens. The Daily Mirror claim that Bravo is now travelling to England and will undergo a medical ahead of the move. Quite what this means for Joe Hart's future though remains unclear. Over on the red half of Manchester and despite Jose Mourinho claiming that Manchester United's summer business was finished, the Red Devils are still being linked with strikers and centre-backs. This time it's Brazilian starlet Gabriel Barbosa's turn on the transfer merry-go-round and he is rumoured to be a £30 million target for the Portuguese. And finally, Liverpool in the hunt for a defensive midfielder, and they have now set their sights on Gary Medel, according to the Liverpool Echo. But who do Real Madrid need to sign this summer to win La Liga? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out last week's viral footy news featuring Jamie Carragher and Jamie Redknapp in an epic game of Mr and Mrs against me and Dave Jackson. And as always, guys, please do like and subscribe.